Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to use my tarot cards with the purple pouch. If you are interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. If you like this reading, please give me a th thumbs up and subscribe. All right, so what do we got going on here? We have the Three of Cups, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Six of Wands, we have the Page of Wands. We have, oh, the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Star, we have the Fool. All right, look at that. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Cups. All right, let's see. Okay. I like this future energies with the Star, the Fool, and the Strength card. That's three major cards right there. And... That, but then we have the Four of Swords, which is kind of taking a rest or taking a break or taking some time out. Um, self-reflection. I kind of feel like that's kind of that self-reflection there. So what you may be struggling with is we have the Three of Cups, we have the Hierophant, and then we have the uh, Six of, of Wands. And I feel like... I kind of feel like you're struggling with your happiness, you're, you're struggling with your, your belief and kind of wondering, okay, where is my success? Where is my, I feel like there's something that you've tried to work on, that you've tried to make happen and I feel like it, it hasn't happened. And I feel like you have this sense of disappointment because that's what this card is too. It says um, it's used to indicate disappointment and I feel like you're disappointed about something because you're struggling with your happiness and kind of your your faith and, the, and success and rising above a situation and I just feel like you're you're let down by something or someone, whether it's yourself or it's a situation or it's someone around you. I feel like you have this sense of uh, let down. All right, so let's grab, I'm gonna grab these. What is this sense of let down again? We have the Page of Swords, angry, all right, angry at, at yourself, I feel like. I feel like maybe there was an opportunity for you to do something or to try something and that it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to or that you... I feel like it was kind of the path that you had wanted to go on and it was it was the direction that you were ready to go on but I feel like it just didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to but I almost feel like you were trying to control the situation too much I feel like you were trying to I feel like you didn't were you trying to push something to happen to get some results before they were ready I know I've done this many times in my life where I've I've wanted to have something happen and I pushed and I pushed and I pushed and when it happened I was like wow this was nothing this did not turn out this turned out to be more of a 
challenge and if I had just let it go and I had just let let it let things fall in place naturally I, I kind of feel like you've you were pushing for something to happen and you know, it's like, yes, there's a point to where you have to try and you have to make things happen, but there's also a point, it's like that fine line between when it becomes, it becomes more of, it's becoming more negative because you keep pushing for something and you, you keep trying for something and it's like, okay, like you've, it, it's, it's not working or it's kind of ask yourself why is this becoming so much of a challenge for me to achieve this goal or to do this thing or to be in this relationship right I feel like it's kind of you still have to start asking yourself is this really worth it is this am I on a sinking ship and I feel like that's kind of what was going on here is that you were it was almost like you were pushing too hard and it had gotten patent past the point so what it is you need to look at, I kind of feel like you need to look in another direction. And I feel like realizing that, okay, it's almost like having to close this door, but to open this door over here. And to see that this isn't the only way to achieve success. And that if it's not working for you to say, you know what, that's, I guess that's not the path I was supposed to go on. I guess that's not how things were supposed to happen for me. I, you know, and yeah, it's hard to admit defeat and it's hard to say, yeah, I've got to give that up. Look at this with this Ten of Cups and then we have the Five of Cups. I mean, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles and we have, I feel like, yeah, like you need to walk away from this and you need to focus on this. So we have the Nine of Pentacles and then we have the Ten of Cups. We have all of this beautiful energy in this current. So I, I almost feel like your current energy is you have to look at what are those things that you have in your plus column right now, right? And then we have the world which is flipped upside down. I almost feel like your world feels like it was flipped upside down because this is what you were counting on. This is what you had, you were focusing on. And now you're like, oh, so now I have to completely change my direction. I have to, I have to walk away from this because it's almost like this card here, like he's walking away, or he or she is walking away from this energy here, um, but walking towards something. You're not sure what it is you're walking towards. But I feel like it's, you know, why spend another moment in this thing that you know that, that it kind of like this thing that is not producing happiness for you or is, or, or is not giving you the, it's creating more frustration for you. And I feel like it's, okay, let me do a reset. So I, I kind of feel like this is a reset for you. And it's like, let me do a reset. Let me see everything that I have going for me right now, right? Let me take stock of what it is that I have. Let me take stock of my supplies. Let me take stock of what I have in my plus column. You know, as hard as it is for you, for you to walk away from this and give up that control of that, but I feel like there's something bigger and better that's waiting for you. And it's not even like a materialistic thing. I feel like it's that fulfillment within yourself. It's that 10 of cups, it's that happiness, right? It's, it's that, okay, this wasn't fulfilling me. This was draining me, right? Why do you wanna keep putting yourself in something that's draining you? And you have to take those actions to say, okay, I wanna, be in something that gives me that sense of fulfillment and makes me feel better, um, whatever that may be for you. I, like I said, with this world coming up upside down, I feel like you feel like your world is flipped upside down because I feel like it's going into a different path that you totally weren't expecting. But sometimes those biggest changes and those biggest challenges are where we learn the most about ourselves. And you can be so proud of yourself to say, I'm so glad I didn't stick with that anymore. I'm so glad I wasn't in that relationship or in that situation or I wasn't in that energy anymore. I'm so glad that I looked out for myself and I said, you know what, I have so many positive good things going my way and it's time for me to take some new, go in a new direction and take new actions. And then this future energy here, which I said was very beautiful from the very beginning, it's almost like once you make that shift is to take that time out for yourself and to really sort through and process everything that has gone on and to be proud of yourself that you took actions to change things. 
because maybe the people around you are, you know, like they just kind of settle and they're like, oh, well, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Well, when your frame of mind is, it is what it is and I can't do anything about it, you know, then it's, it's almost like you're admitting defeat. Yes, there are certain things that you can't change, but it's like, it's your attitude towards this can change. You can control that. You can control how you're seeing things or how you're, you're accepting things and how you're, you, you know, you're saying, okay, this was a big challenge for me. This was a big disappointment for me, but what can I learn and grow from that? And how can I move forward? And how can I take those lemons and turn it into lemonade? Right. Look at this. And then we have the higher fit back. So I feel like you're bringing your own faith and your belief back within yourself. Like you're shining that light again on yourself. And you had it had you had kind of lost it here, but here you're gaining it back, especially with the star. Look at all of these major cards right here in this future energy. We have the Hierophant, we have Temperance, right? Being patient with yourself, and yes, it can be frustrating, and we can turn on ourselves, and we can start saying all of these negative things about ourselves, and we can be frustrated with ourselves, and we can be angry with ourselves. If you need time to process and work through that, that's fine. But it's like make sure that you don't keep that yourself in that energy because that's not fair to yourself. That's not giving you that um, strength, right? Because we have the infinity sign, which is individual empowerment. It's not giving you that individual empowerment because you're tearing yourself down. And then we have the Page of Cups. I like that. I really like that because it's like those new emotions and feelings that you have for yourself. It's that, okay, I'm you've reset over here. And then bottom of the deck, um, we have the Three of Wands, which is moving forward. And I feel like it's giving yourself that clean slate to say, yeah, this happened. Um, yes, I have all of these positive things going for me. And yes, I'm strong and I want these new beginnings. And... I've restored my own faith that I'm not waiting for someone else to do it, but that I'm I'm giving that back to myself and that individual, that self-empowerment, right? That self-love. We have to look out for ourselves. I just feel like too many times we're not making the best decisions for ourselves. And we have to, we have to, we have to be our own best friend and our own cheerleader and say, okay, if this isn't working for me, how do I change this? Yeah, it can be confusing. And yeah, this is not something that you figure out in five minutes. It's something that you have to constantly work on because definitely you want to go back to old ways and old habits because that's where you felt secure. But it's like in order to bust three free from that, you have to make it consistent change. You have a lot going for you, right? You have a lot of you have a lot of positive things in your corner and you have to recognize that, right? You have to feel that, you have to see that, you have to admit that, right? And you have to stand up for that. You have to stand up to have that faith and belief in yourself. What are those tools that you have that can empower you, that can give you that strength to push through, that make you feel positive, that make you feel good, right? What are those things that you have that can help you? All right, let's grab, let's grab an animal oracle card. You have to realize that within yourself, right? Sometimes we don't realize all of those things that we have in our plus column. All right, so let's grab an animal oracle for the reading. Kind of feel like these two here. We have stag spirit take the lead. It's time for you to take the lead. I love this. It's time for you to take the lead in your life. And then we have crow spirit, co-create with spirit. So working together, working together with spirit. I feel like there's, there's signs that are around you to show you that this is something that, you know, you need to let go of. And this is something that you need to focus on. And I feel like there are signs and messages that are around you. You just have to be open to hear those and to see those and to work with those, right? And to not ignore those. Sometimes we like to turn a blind eye to it because we don't want to deal with it. But then I feel like, excuse me, we're just hurting ourselves and we're prolonging the process. We have modify, change, definitely. I feel like there's a big change from this to this. Modify. 
right? Changing it up. But it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. It's for something for you to grow and to learn and for, for you to see. But that's your perspective. If you feel that it's something that's holding you back and is hurting you and is negative, then that's how you're going to see that. But you have to say, okay, yes, this was a challenge for me to grow and to learn and to become stronger, right? I think we had with the strength card. And then we have intention. Having that intent, right, intention, I feel like that goes with the strength card too, is the intention, right, to back yourself with that intention for change, for that intention to make things better, for that intention to let things go, right, not being wishy-washy, I think I did a reading last week about being wishy-washy and well sometimes you are sometimes you aren't having that strong intention is this is direction that I want to go in this is what I want my life to be like these are the changes that I need to and I feel like it kind of goes with the chariot card is having that intention but that intention in order to take the lead and to change things for the better and for the positive all right, um, I'm going to use my Witch Casket Empowerment Deck, and we're going to close out with a final message from this. Okay, so I feel like these two kind of wanted to come out. So we have do that thing. You know the thing you've been putting off or avoiding. Just get it done. You will feel so accomplished and relieved when it's behind you. Do that thing. This is that thing. This is that thing. It's time to do that, right? To do that thing. And then we have make the mundane a ritual. Take a mundane task that you do most days and turn it into a ritual. For example, turn your nightly bath into a self-care bath ritual. Or light a candle with your dinner and dine mindfully by candlelight. So again, what are those things that you have in that those tools that you have that can just like it was saying here that when you have your dinner, make a point to sit at a table, set a nice table for yourself, light a candle, maybe even get yourself some flowers, you know, and make it something that is a, like level it up and make it more of just, instead of sitting in front of the couch and, and just eating food, make it like a ritual that you feel gives you that empowerment that makes you feel um special right that you're making yourself feel special instead of just sitting in front of the couch sitting in front of the tv on the couch eating that you're like okay i'm going to set a nice table right and i'm going to put a candle out and i'm going to enjoy this experience or you know if like it says here if you if you have that nightly bath or that shower that you take before bed that maybe you put some candles in there or you have some nice music or you you know get yourself that extra fluffy towel maybe you go out and you buy you know a special towel for yourself or you get a new body wash or you you do something right you do something to help to elevate yourself to motivate yourself to empower yourself and and saying yes like i deserve this to treat myself in this kind way, right? What are those tools that you have that can help you? And, and this is like some suggestions to something that you can do to make something that's kind of always the same and boring, but to level it up. It's up to you to make these changes, right? You have to take the lead for these changes and to think about those things that you're doing and how can I help myself when I'm struggling with this here? And to actually take the actions to do that thing right, that you've been putting off. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.